So you just completed your ITC program and you are signed up for your IE or your instructor evaluation. Well, first of all, what is an IE and who actually conducts it? Let's find out together. What's up guys, it's Brian again from Lake Hickory Scuba Marina. If you are new to our channel, do me a huge favor. Click this little subscribe button over here and make sure you click that little bell as well. That way you guys will be notified every time we upload new content. Now in today's video, we're gonna be breaking down what is an instructor evaluation, why it's actually important, who conducts it, and what you should be expecting when you go for your IE. So without further ado, let's get started. So when you complete your ITC, your instructor training course, the next step in becoming a dive instructor, or really the final step, is your instructor evaluation. Now this is usually conducted by who we call an instructor certifier, which is an independent evaluator from SSI. And it's important that he's an independent, and here's why. SSI truly believes in quality control. So when you complete an ITC program, say with your instructor trainer, especially if it's at your local training center, they want you to be successful because the more successful you are as a candidate, the better it looks on them as say the instructor trainer or the training center. So to eliminate any type of bias there, whether good or bad bias, what SSI does for quality control is they send in an independent evaluator who they call the IC to actually conduct your final exams. Now the final exams, there's several parts to it. There's a written exam, there's a teaching presentation exam in the academic sessions, there's a teaching uh, final exam in the pool sessions, and then there's a final evaluation exam that you must complete in the open water part. And we're going to break down each and every one of those just so that we can understand what you should be prepared for before you go to your IE. So the first part of the IE is typically your final examination, and this is a 100 question test, and a lot of people don't know this, but it tends to be the same test you actually took during the ITC program. Now the wording of the questions is usually a little different, or you may have several different questions than what was on that, but it's still the same final exam. It's basically a multiple choice test that's 100 questions. That's going to test you on physics and physiology and ecology. It's going to test you on your knowledge of equipment, your knowledge of dive tables and decompression theory. It's also going to be testing and your knowledge on training standards. Now the cool thing about the training standards part, that's usually an open book test. And the reason it's open book is simply because standards change all the time. And as instructors, we're not really meant to understand or know standards as far as verbatim, but we need to know where to go to find standards and understand what they actually mean. So the standards portion of the test is usually an open book test. Now once you do your final examination, you're going to be assigned several different teaching presentations that you're going to conduct. And the IC is actually going to give you plenty of time to put these presentations together. They need to be anywhere, say, between 10 to 20 minutes long. And what you're going to do, your fellow candidates, all the other instructor candidates will actually become your students during this time frame. So you are teaching them as if they were open water students. And your IC is basically going to be at the back of the room. He's going to be evaluating you. And there's so many points that you can earn that, or that you need to earn to actually pass that portion. If you fail the first part of your presentation, then you're usually going to have a backup that you can fall back on. So what is the IC actually looking for? Well, he's looking for your overall general knowledge. He's wanting to make sure that you're giving out proper information. He's wanting to make sure that your mannerisms and your professionalism is where it needs to be for a or to become a scuba instructor. He's also wanting to make sure that you can interact appropriately with your students. So when they ask questions, you need to be able to give them answers or help them find the answers answers through the digital training material. And that's typically what the academic final examination is all about. Now when that's completed, then you're going to go to the confined water or the pool sessions. And it's pretty much the same thing. He's going to assign you several different skills that you're going to have to actually teach your students. Now once again, your students are typically your fellow candidates, your fellow instructor candidates. But now the difference here is, is once you've gave them a briefing of how to conduct that skill, you're going to actually go be below the water and he is going to assign each of those other candidates or your make-believe students, he's going to assign them a problem that they're going to have. Now, when you're underwater, not only are you evaluating them as a student, you're also going to have to be able to catch the problems that they have and correct it appropriately. That means you may have to make them do that skill a couple of times over. Now, once all that's said and done, you're going to stand up and you're going to 
do a debriefing of that skill. And once again, he's making sure that you're teaching the skills the way they need to be taught and that you can catch problems when they happen. Now, the problems are usually pretty obvious and they're typically going to be the same problems that as an actual instructor you will encounter with your students on any given day. Now, when you finish the pool part, now you're going to the open water and it's pretty much, once again, the same thing. He's going to assign several different skills in the open water session that you are supposed to be evaluating. So you're going to be giving them a briefing, you're going to tell them how the things are going to be conducted, you're going to take them underwater, and you're going to evaluate those students. Once again, the students are instructor candidates and they're going to be assigned certain problems that they're going to have. And you're going to have to catch those problems. What the IC is looking for is how you handle it. Can you deal with the stress of having these, say, new people who's never dove before? Yeah, they're in candidates, but they are acting as if they're new. And to be honest with you, we're all professionals. We are pretty good actors. We can make problems seem real. And the instructor certifier wants to see how you're going to handle those stressful situations. You're going to come back up to the surface at the end. You're going to debrief the student. And then you're going to get an overall final grade, if you will. And if that grade is high enough, then that instructor certifier is going to certify you as a newly open water scuba instructor. So guys, I hope you understand just how important the IE process is and how it's conducted. I also want you to understand why we need independent evaluators out here evaluating new instructor candidates. There's just way too much bias, say, between the instructor candidates and their instructor trainer. And whether that bias being good or bad, it's there, guys. It exists. That's the reality of this world. So we need those independent evaluators out here to make sure that our instructors through the SSI system are doing what they should be doing, that they're teaching safe diving, that they have the proper knowledge, skills, equipment, and experience to get out here and teach people how to dive. Guys, I really hope you enjoyed this video. If you are new to diving and you're interested in becoming a dive professional, drop me a comment down below what you want to learn about next, and I'll try to make a video on it as well. But if you you are a dive professional and you're taking it to that next level, maybe you're preparing for your IE. Let me know if you got any questions down in the comments and I'll try to answer them the best I can. Guys, I really hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, smash that like button for me and definitely share it as well. Guys, as always, make sure you follow us on Instagram and Twitter, like us on Facebook, pin us on Pinterest, subscribe to us here on YouTube, and as always, guys, we appreciate your business.